Uh, they reckon there's one thing a man should never do, and that's teach his old Sheila to drive. As a matter of fact, I had a crack at it the other day, and after deep consideration, I think I'd probably go along with the theory. Uh, the old Sheila's been getting a bit independent this year, and she's been on at me and the Trevs to uh, let her get behind the controls of the tractor. Uh, now, I'm in total agreement that there's no reason she shouldn't be out there ploughing from dawn till dusk with the best of them, but the actual business of teaching her to work the thing's been a trifle tricky. Uh, first of all, I drove it around and she walked alongside just to see how everything worked and watched me using all the levers and things. And after about 15 or 20 miles of that, she got very impatient and I had to let her sit in the pilot's chair and have a bash. Uh, she turned it on, uh, bounced across the lambing paddock in little six-foot bursts, knocked down a chain and a half of precision fencing and went into the river at about 45. Uh, when I got there, she had the hydraulic on and she brought a big section of the bank down over the back of the vehicle and the front was stuck straight up in the air with steam pouring out of it. Uh, after a while we got her out and asked her what went wrong and she reckoned the tractor was faulty. Uh, as a matter of fact we found the gear stick in a handbag later which might explain that part of the problem. Uh, she didn't do too badly though and she can have another go any time she likes as soon as she's dug the tractor out. Uh, we gave her a shovel and a packed lunch and she comes in every now and again with a wheel or a piston or something and uh, she should have most of it out before the rains come again.